Hey everybody, this is Justin Rona from agriscaping.com. So it's another episode of Green Thumb Thursday. Hopefully you had a chance to watch the segment we did over at AZTV earlier today. But I'm out here at North Glen. We're actually planting a lot of great plants. And for those of you that actually have artichokes, I wanted to show you a couple of companion plants that as we get to this time in season, as the artichokes are starting to uh, cycle out, I wanted to show you a couple of options of what we like to do when we're doing companion planting and how we operate these little guys. So a little bit of noise in the background because there's a lot of construction with all these houses being built. These things are selling pretty fast out here at the village at North Glen. And um, obviously you can see this little artichoke here. It's kind of on its uh, last legs here. We like harvesting these. These are great decorations. They'll dry out really well as they are right now. And some of them still have some good heart to them that you can still harvest. But one of my favorite ones that we do this time of year that's a good um, transitional plant is we don't, we don't pull out the artichoke, so we actually just cut it out. So we're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle, right at the base, about as low as we can go on each of the stalks that have flowered. Any stalk that hasn't flowered yet, I'm gonna leave and remain there, because <coughs> that turns into a great, massive, awesome plant for later. So a couple of annuals I like using. So anything in the melon family is actually a pretty good complement in transition between those things. So this is an early frame Prescott melon, Velarde Gardens, she's awesome. Susan's a great grower. Of, of great organic vegetables and, and fruits and stuff. So that's one of my favorite ones right there. Anything in the melon family, but this is a great one. And then another great one, if you like a good edible flower to go along with it, is actually this one right here. This is Hibiscus Zabridfria, or the, uh, as we like to call it, the Jamaican Hibiscus. Uh, or, and this thing has a wonderful edible flower. It's actually, you don't eat the flower, you wait until it fruits, because this one actually produces a nice fruit. It's a nice plant, does really good in the heat of the summer. We've got over here at North Glen, we've actually planted another 12 mango trees to go along and complement the guavas all around the pool, the guavas, the, uh, the bananas, you can see those kind of in the background. So 12 more mango trees, a bunch of new fruits and vegetables that we've been adding in, all again complements as we transition out of the early summer stuff into the late summer stuff. So again, hopefully this has been a good little segment for you guys. You can too can grow in even this crazy rock back here and grow productive stuff in Arizona. Thanks for joining another fabulous Thursday, Green Thumb Thursday with Justin Rohner from agriscaping.com. Like us, share us, be a part of what, what we're doing out here. Even when it's hot and sweaty like it is out here, you can still grow amazing fresh foods and vegetables elegantly in your garden. See you next time.